And we're back with Ocean Currents, the hotspot for everything OCC. With me now is David Mowitz, OCC's music instructor, who's actively involved in engaging music talents, organizing on-campus jazz performances by the Ocean County College Jazz Band. And this collaboration of student artists will represent Ocean County College at the Three Sales Jazz Festival by performing high quality musical arrangements by David Mowitz. Hello and welcome to our show. Hi. So David, tell us a little bit about your musical background. Well, uh, at a young age, I used to listen to Dixieland music, but when I got to be about 16, it became a passion. And then I knew that this is what I had to, I wanted to do. I just loved it so much. So, you know, I, I, I did learn all I could from who I could, and I was inspired by high school band director. And also, um, to, uh, I went to college, went, got a couple of degrees in music, and then I went on the road with the band for a while. And then, uh, really, my childhood dream, because one of the bands I loved so much and was inspiration to me was Buddy Rich. Well, at the age of 24, uh, he recorded one of my arrangements. Wow. And then, so I got to write more for him, and then later on he did it again. And so that was, that's basically my background. My, my desire has always been kind of to be in professional music, but also I love teaching too. And fortunately I was able to do both. Now speaking of teaching, what types of music do you teach and what music artists inspire you? Well, uh, Buddy Rich inspired me. He really got, he, he re his band to me was so exciting that I said, I've got to do this. I've got to be in, you know, involved with this. And like I said, you know, uh, I, I did actually at the age 24 get to be an arranger for him, and he did record a couple of my arrangements. Um, teaching at the college, I teach jazz, um, and I, I teach, well, we have the jazz band, uh, which I'm real excited about, the progress we've made in three semesters. That started three semesters ago. I've been teaching the history of jazz, which is for anyone who's interested in learning about their country's music, uh, the music that was uh, developed in our country, and um, also uh, beginning jazz theory and improvisation, which is learning how to improvise, and that will be for jazz, also blues, or any kind of music that you improvise. So any students who are interested in learning can take that class and then come into the jazz band after that, or and many just come right to the jazz band. That's excellent. Now your students are performing at the Jazz Festival, and that's yes. happening in June. Yes. What is the OCC Jazz Band going to prepare for this event? Well, we're, we're going to be playing some music by Miles Davis, Herbie Hancock, Benny Golson. Uh, I'm going to throw one of mine in there. Um, the, the thing about the way we're doing it, though, um, you know, I always encourage students that, especially at the college age, it's great to copy people and maybe people when you're growing up learning, but mm -hmm. at some point you need your own personality. Absolutely. So as a band, we're going to be taking the music of these people I mentioned, doing them our own way. And that not only, are we, not only uh, that would be according to our generation, this generation, what influences them, and also um, th them personally, because e each individual has certain unique qualities of musically about themselves. So, you know, m my job is to, is, to blend, is to bring that out of each person, make them realize what they have, and blend them as a group in a way that we have a unified whole. The Three Sales Jazz Festival has some pretty big names performing. Mm -hmm. How do your students feel about performing with them? Yeah. Well, I don't think, I don't know how much of a reality it is to them yet. Um, I showed them the poster with their name alongside of <laughs> you know, the Marsalis and Dyad and, and, and the Commodores and all that, and hoping that would spark, a, uh, you know, but we haven't talked about it a, a lot, but um, the main thing that I'm looking at is preparing them for that day. And one of the things is building the confidence mm -hmm. and what they have, that they're bringing something to the table that's unique because they are unique as, as individuals and as a band. So as, as we develop the way we perform th this music and it becomes kind of solidified into our own way or style, um, they're going to realize that we have, you know, we're not as old as some of these guys that have been around in the business for so long, but we have something unique to bring to the table at the, at the festival. Absolutely, and that's very exciting. Yeah, it now, is. What do you think is the importance of having a festival such as this where students have the opportunity to get involved? Well, I mean, for them, it's, it's, like, a, um, it's like an internship for a day kind of thing. <laughs> you know, they're going to be there, they're going to be rubbing shoulders with people who have been, you know, internationally known, nationally known performers and you know I'm, I encourage them to take notes mental notes and, and keep an eye watch how they conduct themselves watch how they relate to one another, another to their audience notice the how you know the seriousness they take about their music and, and the passion they have for the music as well 
it's definitely a great experience oh, for yeah. them. Yeah. Do you think scouts from music schools will be coming to watch the OCC Jazz Band perform? Well, we're, we're early in the program. This is our third semester as far as the Jazz Band goes, so I don't know about that. I do know there's one school that knows what's going on and is kind of uh, interested in what's going on here. Um, um, but one, one interesting thing that happened along these lines is uh, our for very first semester, uh, we did a concert in, in the Gateway Building in April along with the uh, Glee Choir mm -hmm. and we, um, in the audience was the father of one of the Glee Choir members who happened to be a member of Shorty Long in, in the Jersey Horns, which is, which is a locally popular band. Well, our, he noticed our baritone saxophone player and hired him right on the spot. And he's been with him in, the, in playing with that band ever that's since. Amazing. Just right there, it was just an exciting. So that's one of the things, the vision I have for the program here, the jazz program here, is that I mean, I would just love if people came to me, you know, do you have a sax player? Do you have a trombone player? I'm looking for a guitar player. Anybody, can you recommend someone? I'd love to see that kind of thing happening. And Absolutely. as well colleges, as well as maybe local, or even maybe, who knows, like I told the kid in the band, you don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe somebody's looking for a sax player, like just like you. You know, a nice, a young person with some new ideas, and you never know what's going to happen at the festival. So always play your best. Absolutely. Always show who you are. It's you know? great exposure. Yeah. yeah. How often and where does the jazz band perform? Well, we're going to be performing at Open House uh, next month on the 16th. We'll be um, in May. We'll be performing at the uh, the uh, New Jersey State Chili and Salsa Cook Off downtown. That's going to be a lot of fun. And then let me see. At the end of the month, Brent. Uh, 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 Marcellus is going to be here um, doing a workshop uh, with with the band in the morning and then we're going to be playing in the afternoon we're going to be playing at a, a local uh, community event that's the 30th so if people want to come see us we'll, we'll be at these different things we'll be playing at the Mancini Theater in, in Ocean County Library downtown Tom's River on June 2nd and there's a couple other things I don't have dates for yet but as they mm -hmm. come. You That's know. wonderful, a lot of yeah. upcoming events. Yes. Now that there is a performing arts major at Ocean County College, mm. talk about the opportunities for students. Well, there have been some new things that have happened since. I mean, the jazz program's a new, it's come along about the same time. Uh, we have a music fundamentals class, that's a new thing for people who uh, maybe are lacking reading. We have a lot of musicians, you know, guitar players and drummers that uh, are different instruments that don't read music, didn't really grow up learning reading music and learning the fundamentals. That's a great place for them to, to get that. Um, so another, another great thing is the Grunin Center, all the performing opportunities that uh, Professor um, uh, Mark Wilson has been bringing in mm -hmm. to the center. It's just amazing. There's so much going on, it makes your head spin. There's just so <laughs> many concerts of all different genres. I mean, it, that's a great thing for stu all students on campus because the, as students, they can get in for all these things free. And then for just for the uh, community and the, the, you know, the region, all these, you don't have to go to New York to see these people. They're coming right to Ocean County College. That's right. Yeah. Now, I have one last thing for you, David. Sure. For those students who are passionate about jazz music, yeah. how can they get involved with the jazz band? Well, you can get in the jazz band whether you're passionate about jazz alone or about music because we have... Um, the first semester, you know, we're, we're trying this, let's see if we can have a jazz band, see, see if we have talent in the area. Well, it turns out we did. Um, and a lot of the, a lot of the people, the first semester, the first semester band was mostly heavy metal people. <laughs> and I thought, wow, what a job I have before me. I never worked with heavy metal people trying to teach them jazz. Well, they, there's a lot of principles, musical principles that, 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 that are in both music. So they actually, they were, they did an amazing job learning how to play jazz. And I figured, well, we'll probably play jazz rock because that's closer to what they are used to. But And I figured that's where it was going to stay, but they surprised me. We actually played a, a, a song from 1939, Harlem Nocturne. We played soul jazz from the 1950s. We did things that I never would have thought that we could do. So if, if students are passionate about music, and, and you know, I would encourage them to just get in touch with me, dmarowitz at ocean.edu, uh, or call the, the uh, school the uh, language and the arts get in touch with me and uh, you know we'll talk about that but one of one of my students just recently sent me a note and he said um, and he, he had graduated and moved on he said um, the music that he's doing now everything that he learned and, and absorbed in the jazz band is has influenced the music he's doing now so uh -huh. it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be just mm -hmm. jazz and we lo I love to have blues players come in and, and any kind of music at all actually 
Because they'll bring, you'll bring something with you if you come in. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. A very rewarding experience. It is. Well, thank you for joining yeah. us, David, yeah. and we are looking forward to seeing your band perform at the